Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Sherwood. <laughs> and I'm Dr. Michelle Sherwood. And they call us M&M, M &M without, without the, the sugar. sugar. And you're watching Hope and Health TV on the His Glory Network. God bless you. Beverly Hills Precious Metals Exchange is a client-focused firm devoted to assisting our clients with precious metals. Our clients range from first-time to serious coin collectors and investors seeking to add precious metals to their investment portfolios. We are not interested in volatile investments, leveraged products, and intangible assets. With rising inflation and a devaluing of the dollar hurting middle-class families, investing in gold and silver ensures protection for your hard-earned money. Save the value of your money today by investing in gold and silver at Beverly Hills Precious Metals. Since 2014, Organic Body Essentials has offered clean, simple, certified organic skin care. Our organic face-to-feet and federally compliant hemp and pet products are manufactured under USDA and FDA guidelines. Our products are inspired by God using plants He created. In Ezekiel 47.12, it says the fruit is for food and the leaves for healing. We believe in the power of God to heal, so we pray over our products and for our customers. Our therapy in a bottle approach has been widely received and our customers' testimonies continue to inspire us. You can find us at OrganicBodyEssentials.com and OBE.OrganicBodyEssentials.com. Please feel welcome to reach out with questions. Use coupon code HISGLORY at checkout for a 5% discount. Thank you for your support by using His Glory at checkout to benefit His Glory Ministries and their commission to preach the gospel from east to west to north to south. So Clean Slate is the foundation product of Root Wellness. Clean Slate honestly is better living through biochemistry. A simple, safe, systemic approach to remove toxins from, from our system. And so I always tell people, you know, you take the trash out in your house every day. Why aren't you taking the trash out of your body? We're made to be amazing. We just haven't unlocked the potential until now. Psalm 91, he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God and him I will trust. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side and 10,000 at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked, because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the most high, your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near you, your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against the stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. We want to welcome all of His Glory Nation from east to west to north to south. Welcome to today's Take 5. Happy Wednesday. I never know what day it is until I have to ask the guests what, when, what is today. 
I guess when you're filled with the, the, the love of the Lord, it doesn't matter what day it is. And uh, our next guest you're, you're, you're going to see, Julie Green, is just filled with the Holy Spirit. And every time I get to see Julie Green, I see her right now before I introduce her, I just get this glow, and uh, it's absolutely incredible. Um, great, great time to be alive. It's the greatest time in the history of the world to be alive. If somebody's trying to ring in on me, uh, it's probably the bad guys. You know, they're watching us. All right, so let's do our quick announcements because we want to get it to, to Julie Green as soon as possible because she's got a lot of stuff to talk about. Uh, but I will be seeing Julie Green uh, next week. We'll be at the Reawaken Tour. I don't know how many tickets are left, not many. So if you are on the fence, get the tickets. This is going to be probably the biggest one yet. I think uh, 7,500 people. Uh, the schedule is not updated on this here, but we're going from 8 in the morning to like 9.45 at night on Friday and Saturday. 54 speakers. Uh, Robin Bullock is now added to that. Uh, so it's going to be huge. Gideon, uh, Gideon 300, we're in our green room. Uh, we'll be having 300 pastors or up to 300 pastors uh, that we will be hosting live streaming. And there's two other networks I got to talk to today about live streaming this Gideon's 300. Uh, General Boykin and General Flynn will be uh, on the panel. Uh, we need to get pastors that are backing the Constitution, like the back of the, the, the days of the Black Robe Regiment. Uh, so that is uh, on the agenda. And what else do we got uh, to talk about? Um, capital punishment. Uh, get capital punishment. What they told you was a lie. The, 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 uh, the, the, the committee let yesterday, the woman that came forward, has already been debunked uh, by Secret Service agents that she was lying. Uh, there might be a little extra that we might throw you on capital punishment. I'll just throw a little teaser out there. But get capital punishment to know the truth. You can get that at www.hisglory.tv uh, to know the truth about what happened on January 6th. It's coming around, boomerang. Um, and what's the last one we'll do? Why don't we, we, I owe this to Amanda Grace. So let's pull up the puppies. I don't, she hasn't told me if the puppies have been rescued yet. These puppies are, what are they, in Texas? Texas. Uh, so these puppies need to be adopted. Uh, Amanda says she'll help uh, pay a, a expenses to get them to you if you're out of state, if you're not in the, uh, it's around Houston area. There's the number, but they're going to put these puppies to, to sleep if nobody rescues them. So that's the number. Uh, please, uh, if it's on your heart, reach out and save these puppies. And one last thing before we introduce Julie Green, uh, Dinesh D'Souza will be on with us uh, later, uh, our next Take 5 to talk about 2,000 mules. There's a lot going on with elections right now. Let me tell you, the stuff that's in the public and stuff that's about ready to break. With that said, here's Julie Green. Julie. Hello. Wow. What a great time <laughs> to be alive. I know. Go ahead. <clears throat> what a great time to be alive, huh? I can't wait to smile on my face. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just like, as soon as you said that, I was like, go God. <laughs> like, I have this... You know, I can just jump and dance and rejoice because he's been talking about great celebrations and he's been talking about these elections. He's been saying certain things I have not even given out yet and I'm going to give them out here on this show. Um, but this is a great time to be alive. And I want everybody to know that God is about to do something so big you won't even know what to do about it when it gets done. Amen. It's, just, it's phenomenal. And he has. He, he Look at the monumental things that have happened in the last, uh, you know, Roe versus Wade overturned, taken back to the state. Uh, you mm -hmm. saw the HHS secretary in, uh, in defiance just, just a minute ago said all options are on the table for abortion. These, these evil people are doubling down. Uh, but God listened to the prayers of, of, of the saints to, to, to sanctify life. And this is huge, absolutely huge. Yeah. He did. And one of the things that he's given me that I will give out to you is what is going to happen uh, just now we're going to start seeing. So there's going to be a rebirth of this nation. And so he said the old and he's going to bring in the new. And the old is the one that they've infiltrated, this country that they infiltrated, that they try to destroy, that they try to bring down, that they try to use their uh, laws, their rules, their regulations, their government that they wanted. And God's saying, no, that's going to be all done away with. And he's going to usher in this new one. And one of the things he gave me is um, that I am excited. The eagle is being um, the eagle is being set free, mm. and that's the title to the prophetic word that I will give out uh, tomorrow. And so there's a lot in that prophetic word that I cannot wait to be able to give out to everybody. 
Wow, wow. So where do you want to pick up at? You want to pick up at, uh, we, we were talking about whistleblowers before we went live. You want to talk about whistleblowers and Supreme Court? Yeah. Um, so the Lord has given me a prophetic word back a long time ago. I don't have this one pulled up, but he, mm -hmm. he did say, these are the days of the whistleblowers. Mm -hmm. Now, I always say talking about whistleblowers, <laughs> and he talked about in all spectrums, not just like the election. I mean, he's talking about everything. Medically, He's, I mean, he's talking about all the things we could possibly think of. And especially this whole January 6th thing. He's been giving me so many prophecies on January 6th. And once he's given me two of them, I have not given out yet. And one is extremely powerful. I will give it here. But he's basically saying, he's talking about them. They're slanderers or liars or manipulators. And he's saying he has the blueprint of everything. Now, he used that word a lot. And I know I've used it on here on your show. But he uses the word blueprint, and I know he's even told me before, he does have, he said, Nancy Pelosi's computer has been retrieved, and there's information on there that's going to blow this whole charade, this whole facade, but blow it up. And God is saying, this is not going to stay the way it is. And you can say, you know, I know that they're doing their hearings, and it looks like they're doing everything that they want, and they have people. This is going to totally backfire. Yep. I mean, it's just, it's going to blow up in their face. He's letting them do their thing, just like what happened with the um, when they wanted to impeach our president twice. How well did that go for them? It didn't, yep. because yep. they can't do they can't go against God's will, and it's never going to be done. No. So I'm excited to see them fall on their face. It is <laughs> going to happen. The the woman who came out against President Trump yesterday, claiming that. He uh, was trying to get uh, talking about AR-15s. I was there. There was no nobody had AR-15s, and then she said uh, President Trump was trying to get over and grab the uh, the, the, the steering wheel. Well, uh, Secret Service came out. Both people that were involved in that said that's not true. So she's been caught in a lie already. <laughs> See, you know what? They can say whatever they want. Just like this whole thing with the Russia thing, and that came out, of course, with Hillary, and Hillary is the one who did it. And, of course, they can try to put it under the rug a little bit, but it's not going to work. I mean, she's going to pay. God already said that. And so I'm excited to see everybody, the people that are going to go down. And the whole thing about prophetic words, and God has been showing us a lot lately, even though a lot of political things haven't happened the way people wanted it to or when they wanted it to, doesn't mean it's not going to happen. And so that's why he's giving us all these other prophecies. He's giving us phrases that are going to be in the news. He's giving us, of course, a Roe versus Wade other monumental things, and these are coming to pass first. But the reason why he's given this to us is because he wants people to be excited. He wants people to say, you know what? God said this. This came to pass. So even though we haven't seen the political, doesn't mean God's not going to do it. And it's getting us encouraged. Why I love how he does these prophetic words and how he gives them, because they're so encouraging. He's giving us uh, clarity on what's going on behind the scenes when we don't understand exactly. And then he's giving us all these truth bombs, which I call them nuclear bombs, and um, that is going to destroy their narrative. I mean, it really is going to destroy their narrative. And I am, uh, we've been waiting a long time for all of this to come to pass. And I know he said the tide has turned. It's not going to turn. The winds of change are not going to change. They have changed. So it's just like one thing after another. It is, it's amazing. It is amazing because, you know, you get the gift of prophecy, Amanda, and others who have, who, that don't talk to each other about all this stuff happening. And then <clears throat> you, you guys come on His Glory and you talk about it. And then somebody like Cash Patel comes on last week and drops a nuclear bomb saying, I have 50% of Russiagate that I haven't shown the American people yet. <laughs> <laughs> he has access to President Trump's archives to bring out all the truth. Okay, he said, he said that, that live on his glory. That just goes with a prophetic word I have heard about Russia, but also goes with a prophetic word I've heard just uh, this morning. I think it was this morning or yesterday morning uh, about a country that has information that no one knew existed. And it's going to blow this whole thing in the United States up. And everything that's been holding it is going to be completely destroyed. So I don't know if that is Russia, because he didn't say exactly that it was Russia on this one. But he said that this country is going to come forward with a lot of information that wow. has been held backwards, being that's, held back. That's so. interesting. I got a report from somebody on the ground. We, we supplied three vans to, uh, bought three His Glory vans for Poland 
uh, a pastor we know is taking food into the Ukraine. And he gave me a report yesterday that he saw some suspicious activity of UN vehicles, and they were uh, Middle Eastern and wearing fake beards, and he felt the Spirit of the Lord say, this wasn't real, and uh, it doesn't look good. And they're trying to create a false flag in Ukraine around Belarus. Wow. Uh, the Lord just had a prophecy that actually just came to pass. Um, he said that there was going to be an incident that had taken place at a mall or a shopping center. Now, I've just seen that something happened at a shopping center in Ukraine. Um, I definitely believe there's more to that story about the shopping center. You never know what these people are hiding and where they're hiding it. Now, I'm talking about the government of right. Ukraine. It's not the people. I feel bad for the people. They are being held hostage by this, um, just like we are here in the United States. In so many other countries around the world, but uh, Ukraine, they have a lot to answer for that government, and Zelensky is definitely going to go down. And the Lord has called him out many times. Yep, absolutely. Yep. So, so Roe versus Wade. Uh, I had a prophetic yeah. word a couple of years ago that it would be overturned, and you said you had one. What, what mm -hmm. December? December fifth. And, and here we are. So this is what it says. This is called a perfect storm, and I always say. If a prophecy is being fulfilled, and I always go to the prophecy, what has been named, because that's what God names it. So it says a perfect storm. This is what he called it. These are the times, or these are the signs I told you about, which are coming to pass. More prophecies are being fulfilled by the day. All hope is lost in this world for the enemies of my children. Riots are about to break out after the overturning of Roe versus Wade. Yes, the enemy will try to fill the streets once again with chaos, but I, the Lord, will deal with the ones in the streets and the ones that drove them there to do this. Yes, many payments were dispersed to cause great chaos. Now, we already seen, I was actually in um, Scottsdale, Arizona, Friday, and when all the stuff was breaking out. And of course, there was something that actually happened in Phoenix, Arizona, at the state, uh, um, the set, the state senate. Yeah. And uh, they were being held hostage in that building during these riots. And so, of course, riots were breaking out in Washington. Riots were breaking out in Los Angeles. Riots were breaking out in a diff couple of different places. And God was saying, "It's not going to happen the way they want it." You can even see with these riots and protests and stuff, it does not have the same momentum that they did with the police officer and the people that supposedly, you know, they killed because of, you know, certain things. And it didn't also does not happen just like right after President Trump took office in 2016, the disgusting, vile and vulgar things that they were doing with these protests and stuff all over. It has not had that kind of momentum. Right. And God even said they were going to do this, but it's not going to happen the way they want it. And it's not, it's not getting that steam that they truly, really want. I think they wanted probably hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people in the street by now. And you're just not seeing it. No, nope. They wanted it in all these different major cities and states. You're just not seeing it. But that's what they wanted. He said it before that this even happened. And we talked a little bit about this when they had the um, leak, you know, supposed leak that came out with the Supreme Court, where they were already having the protest within, what, a half an hour of that leak. And so we all know that this is what's going on, but God had given us this before it happened. And then he also said something else. This is the last prophetic word I had. I've had four about Roe versus Wade that I have on my website. I love how he talks. <laughs> to the world leaders, do you actually think you have the power to control my nation, the United States of America, to control the elections, the government, and the justice system, along with the economy? I will rip it all from your hands. The Supreme Court will come out and hit you with your first major blow and overturn your bail worship. You won't know what to do, but to start a war that won't go as planned. Your power has been taken from you. This nation with Roe versus Wade overturning will be reborn with a freedom from your bondage and your chains. You will never regain that power again. It's all slipping from your grasps. Now is no way to stop it, says the Lord of hosts. So that to me, I was like, <laughs> I love it how he just says it how it is. 
And he's saying, you know what? He's going to rip apart your Baal worship because that's exactly what it is. <clears throat> and he's saying, you're going to lose it all. Not even just the whole Roe versus Wade. You're going to lose the whole entire thing. Yeah, amazing. And, you know, you see the evil doubling down to the DOJ threatening the Supreme Court that they'll find look for legal action to do it anyway. And you're not going to mess with God, especially when it comes to the, the life of a child. Yep. And, you know, some people think, um, you know, well, God gave us a right to choose. He said, choose life. Yeah. Choose life. I said before, your life and death, blessing and cursing, choose life. I don't think that means just choose life for us. I think that means choose life for the unborn. Yep. And so God is never going to go aside with somebody who's choosing death. That's not going to happen. So, I, I mean, it's, it, it's appalling that I see a lot of Christians saying, we have a right. It's our body, our body, our choice. No, we are the temples of the Holy Spirit. It's right. not <laughs> technically ours, but, I mean, God does give us a free will. And But to choose this, I mean, our country finally chose life after how many years? After, what, 1973? Yep. And with that, when we had 1973 happen with uh, Roe uh, Ro versus Wade, we lost a lot in our nation since then. It went on a downward spiral since Roe versus Wade. Now you're going to start seeing the opposite happen. Mm -hmm. And so you can already see the momentum, even just that day, just on Friday, you can see they, they've, been, they've been ruling, and he does have more prophecies about the Supreme Court, but they've been ruling in the right direction. Yep. And yep. so you're going to start seeing them ruling more and more on the right direction. And one of the things he said was, there is something that's happened. There, um, the chokehold on the Supreme Court has been released. Wow. So um, they're going to start ruling in favor for our justice and our freedoms and our Constitution. Yeah, so we've seen some ma monumental, and obviously Roe versus Wade being reversed. You saw the, the coach allowed to pray. Uh, you saw New York gun law over, you know, allowed uh, them to do that there. Um, the, religion, the religion to follow your taxpayer dollars, that kind of flew under the radar, that Christian schools can now get uh, property taxes to follow them. That is huge for parents. That's huge. Uh, that's going to open yeah. up the door. And we're waiting, on, I was telling you before we went live, we're waiting on a big, a big ruling that most people are not paying attention about the three-letter organizations overstepping their bounds to create policy without elected officials like the CDC, the FDA, and so forth. That could be huge, too. So the Supreme Court is going bang, 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 rapid fire. Yeah, and the Lord had yet given me prof uh, prophetic words that were very harsh regarding the, the three-letter the three uh, organizations. And he was talking about how they have manipulated, they have controlled the United States of America, and they are part of the deep state. Yep. They're just another arm of the deep state. I'm almost positive that's what he said about those three better corporations. And he's saying he's ripping that power apart and away from them. Because they were, I mean, they were really designed, I think, originally to, to protect us. Right. But right. they actually have been designed because of this one world government to be actually used against us. And that's why I think he's been he's been saying that there was another Snowden, that there was gonna be another whistleblower that was going to blow this wide open. And so um, when you talked about the whistleblower before this, this show, I just like, I just, I just like just keep smiling because I'm just like, I love hearing the words of God. I mean, I can't even tell you what an honor it is to hear these prophetic words, but to get confirmation after confirmation all the time of what he's saying, how it's coming to pass. I just love being on here because we confirm each other all the time. It's, it's, yeah, it's a lot. I, I tell you, the, the, the whistleblower information we get is like mind blowing. It, it, it's going <laughs> to blow people's minds in Arizona. Uh, big name officials will be going down Republican and Democrat and Oklahoma. So we're still oh. you know, we're still vetting all this. But everything mm -hmm. I've seen so far matches what other intelligence sources have said. I have heard, have heard prophetic words about Arizona. Yep, it's ugly. Uh, so when I was there the other day, I was just like in awe because I've never been there. And I was so excited because one of the things, we were at a prayer retreat and we were praying about it. And I was just like, they are all going down. I even spoke to the Board of Supervisors. They're in Maricopa County. I was actually in Maricopa County. And uh, I know uh, the governor there is not a good guy. So I am excited to see uh, him being judged for what he has done to this nation and turning back on this nation and all the corrupt things that they were doing in Maricopa County that turned the election. Because I know people who actually live there. 
Yeah. And there were like, there was no way on God's green earth that Biden won in Maricopa County. Right. It was just not possible. And so we now, now, and I still haven't been able to be released to see the 2000 mules yet because still prophetically things are, God has given me these things so I can't hear everything. But uh, when that came out and just some c- certain things that people have told me um, that I can hear because the Lord has given certain things about what was going to happen, I was just jumping over the moon because I've been, I know a lot, a lot of us who saw that ripped away from us that night just want to see the vindication and the justice happen and our rightful president be put back. And he will be very well, soon. Well, you, you twisted my arm. I'll say one name. The, the guy that you just mentioned is in deep, deep, deep trouble. Hmm. Governor Ducey, maybe his yep. name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Lord has called him out. <laughs> A big time called him out. And it's, Same thing. it's worse than just election fraud. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Yep. And he's also called, called out uh, in Georgia. He even said, I think two or three t- different times, he said the devil went down to Georgia. And he said that phrase will be used in your news. And he was talking about the governor of Georgia. He's talking about Brad Rathensperger. And he, I mean, it is, he is not playing. And when people have to realize when God says something, it's going to happen no matter what they do to try to stop it. They've tried to stop it the last year and a half, but all it's done is prove to the world what liars they are. Yep. And somebody even sent me um, an audio recording, whatever, of uh, Biden talking to Hunter, leaving a voicemail saying, it's all clear, yes. basically. That was, that was on Fox. Uh, I, mean, I think uh, Tucker, Jesse Waters, and Sean Hannity picked that uh, up the last, last night or the night before. That, that is absolute evidence that Joe Biden did know about what was going on. And God said there'd be audio and video recordings of a lot of these people, and they are being caught. Yep. So that's why I was excited to have that prophecy being fulfilled. But another thing he keeps talking about, there's another prophecy. I don't know if I did it when I was on here. Did he fall off his bike? Yes, he did uh, afterwards. Since, since I was on the show? No, no, it, it came. Because remember, you said he, you had a prophecy that he was going to fall. And I said, well, he fell going up the stairs to Air Force One. Well, I think the very next day after you were on, he fell off his bike. And, he, and God said in that prophetic word, he was going to fall to the ground. And he fell to the ground on that bike. He did. And yeah. one of the things that was so profound about that, because God said it was not just a natural fall. This was a spiritual fall. And so, and he he just gave me another one about uh, Biden falling <clears throat> that I have not given out yet, that I probably will hear. But one of the things that he said was, um, he said the number 25. And then I, and then he goes on to further say 25, they're gonna say the 25th. Yeah because they want to get rid of him. There is so much gonna come out about him and Hunter. They are not gonna be able to hold it back. They're not gonna be able to hide it anymore. Their momentum is gone to try to prop him up. And because they can't control his mouth or control the way he acts on live TV, they're just gonna to wanna to get rid of him. Yeah, so back to your prophetic word about the fall. If you Did you, did you see the video of him falling? Yeah, they, I, somebody sent it to me, yep. Yeah, I mean, you would almost have to try to fall like that. Yeah. <laughs> His bike was stopped. It was stopped. Excuse me. And his foot he was, was just down. standing there. I was just like, what? How do you fall off a bike when you're just standing there? I don't know. He wasn't even riding it. No, like, I Like, I could see maybe if like, his foot slipped or, you know, whatever, he was trying to pedal. You know, that happens. But it's just like, he fell off his bike standing. He fell off his bike. You can't make this stuff up. Nope. You really can't. I'm just like, oh my goodness. This is the best they could come up with for the trying to portray him as a leader of the free world. Give me a break. That's come right. on. Everyone makes fun of him. Yeah. I mean, even their, his own people are making fun of him. He can't talk at all. <laughs> it makes sense. And his cheat sheets he keeps being caught with. Uh, that's hilarious, by the way. Even I mean, world leaders know. mock him. He was in Spain and he was wandering. He didn't even know where to sit. Oh, really? Yeah, he was just wandering around. It's kind of like that. Do you remember the the, the photo op with Obama, Obama came into the White House and Obama yes. took over everything? And, uh, uh, you know, O'Biden was just, he didn't know where to go. He was kind of just lost. He's lost. He's mm-hmm. lost. And I've never seen it. When somebody said to me, I, I was baffled because... I was like, because one of the things it was a prophecy was being fulfilled because he said uh, Obama was going to be back in the spotlight. 
And you can see Obama trying to come back. He's trying to say things. He's trying to do certain things. And you know why? Because he wants to take that front and center back. Yep. He wants the people to realize that he really is the one in control. And it's not Biden because he's, we, we know he's just talking to him in his ear. And he can't even really get that across because Biden keeps messing things up. Mm-hmm. And Kamala, she can't be on TV and tell the truth and cackle. And she just... She is another mess. And so it's funny because usually you see more of a vice president. You don't see much of her, really. Um, and you definitely don't see those two together anymore, Biden and Kamala. Yeah. Remember, he couldn't go anywhere without her shadowing him or her being right behind him, almost like she was his keeper. Yep. It's very odd. And now all of a sudden they're not ever together anymore in the same room. It's almost as God has her tongue because yeah. every time she speaks, it doesn't make any sense. She just bla- – it just – and she – you know, I was never a big Kamala Harris fan before, but at least she could, in the past, I think she would speak somewhat intelligently. Now she mm-hmm. speaks and you can't even figure out what she's talking about. No, no, it is unreal. It's unreal. I mean, I haven't, I don't get to hear all of it, uh, obviously, because I don't watch the news, but what people said, I just, I didn't know what to say. I, I don't even know what to say about it. I'm just like, are these people actually thinking that this fraudulent government that they put into place was really uh, good and sound, and it looked like it was. I don't have the right words to say for it, I guess, because it's a complete clown show. I, I mean, show. I'm just trying to be honest. <laughs> yep, yep. And uh, the fake news is coming down. To, speaking of Arizona, have you met uh, Go- uh, Carrie Lake, who's running for governor yet? Mm-mm. She's a rock star. She she dropped the mic on Brett Bear on Fox News the other day. Really? Oh boy! I'm gonna have to pray for her. Yeah, pray for her because she's a warrior, and, and she she did it to CNN the other day too. CNN came up to her and she's like, well, "I'm not gonna talk to fake news," and just went on. Okay, she's got that. Co- I love her. Okay, she's I love her, she's right. a powerhouse. Yep, she's a powerhouse. That's awesome. I love it. I love hearing this stuff because you know what? This is a time the Lord has been a couple words that I haven't given out yet. So, but He's been saying that countries. He's saying the resistance. You're going to start seeing a resistance more. There's going to be more countries that are going to come out that are going to start. Uh, you're going to see a resistance against this new world order and against more because they're going to try another virus, another disease. Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, really, we see monkeypox. We see what they're trying to do with it. And that was another prophecy that was fulfilled. You know, you're going to start seeing them all of a sudden now flights and more and more being canceled. They're just messing with everything they can possibly mess with. They're messing with our food. They're messing with you know, flights, they're messing with our economy. They're messing. I mean, it is just ridiculous what these people are doing. You can see the writing on the wall. What they want is complete shutdown. What they want is, uh, um, I, I truly believe that they, they want, um, mass chaos to the point where they want martial law. They do. They, cause they can't afford the, the, the election to take place. Uh, I've had three generals, no. two of them publicly, three of them tell me that up till July 1st, it will be a, a telling point. Um, but by the 4th of July, we'll know. All three of them said it's about 50-50 whether we have an election right now. Mm-hmm. That's amazing <laughs> that they would God say God said there was a lot of things that were going to uh, change before the 2022 midterms. Yeah. And so we, we've had intel sources. You know, the, the generals have said it publicly. Um, I know sources that I've said, I don't tell their names, that said that they're going to try to shut it down with every virus possible. We had a doctor on yesterday who was told not through Intel, but through her doctor sources to be prepared for September and October because there's another hmm. release going to come. Hmm. That is not surprising to me. First of all, you have September, October, but these are the, that's the feast times. Yep. I'm just saying, always pay attention to the Lord's feasts because there's always something that's going to go around around those times. But one of the things that he said was, we're not going to supposed to go by man's calendar. So everybody's looking to the 2022 midterms and that's going to change stuff. Okay, God is going to bring back our rightful president when he's going to bring him back before the end of this year, but he's also going to bring him back in a way people don't realize. It's not going to be by conventional type of things that we're used to, like an election. We'll bring a president back. God's just going to do it. He is going to do it. (laughs) He's going to do it. He's going to do it in a big way, and that's why the whole world is going to celebrate when Trump comes back. And one of the things he even said, too, was not only he's going to be bringing back Trump, but he's going to vindicate and bring back a Netanyahu. 
mm-hmm. Benjamin Netanyahu. And I just seen somebody just said it to me because I had so many prophetic words about Israel and about the stealing of their elections as well. Because one thing they really, the thorns in their side was Netanyahu and Trump. And the reason why is because those are two very strong men. And they were controlling the two nations that everybody wanted was America and Israel. Mm -hmm. Well, those two can't be paid off and they're not going to back down. So there are tons of people that, you know, I've gotten slack with because of Netanyahu. And I said, listen, you cannot believe everything that you hear on national television. You can't believe how you hear about what has been going on about even Pence. You cannot believe everything you hear. It is not the way God keeps saying. It's not the way it appears to be. There are people that had to give up their entire life in order to do what God has asked, you know, asked them to do. And so instead of really killing people and judging people, which we're not supposed to do, okay, Lord, how do you want me to see this person? I've had so much persecution on Pence. I will stand firm and stand strong on what the Lord said about Pence. Yeah. yeah. And Netanyahu both. People, I will not be moved on it. People can repent. Uh, Benjamin Netanyahu, uh, we have great sources in Israel. He, he's, he's most likely going to be the next prime minister of Israel. He will be the next prime minister of Israel. Uh, they're ready. They're moving towards elections again already. That was just announced a couple of days ago. And I had a prophetic dream about Benjamin Netanyahu that he was dirty and then he was cleansed. And I saw in my prophetic dream where uh, the prime minister's office was. And I've never seen the prime minister's office in my life. And then he was on news about a year later, and he did the only interview he's ever done from the residence of the prime minister. And it was exactly to my dream. But isn't God so good? <laughs> it was amazing. When he gives visions and he's given dreams and he's given, he said that in Joel and Acts chapter two. So we shouldn't be surprised when people are like, well, how can, you know, like they question me, how can God give prophetic words every day? Why not? Yeah. Thinking, why not? But he said in Joel and Acts chapter two, this was going to happen. Prophecies, visions, dreams, this is happening. We are in the end times. So things are going to escalate in order for us to be freed from the things that we have been in. God said we're in a slavery we didn't even know existed. We're in a spiritual slavery and a bondage and a system that we thought was for us when it really was against us. And that's how God's exposing all of this. And we can see when uh, President Trump took office, and even right before, I think is when he did did come down the escalator. I mean, you can see people just, their the real selves started coming out more and more and more. You can start seeing who the real rhinos were. I mean, I don't even think rhino was a word before Trump. Maybe it was. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I didn't hear it. But I mean, it's just unreal. I mean, people have just come out of the war work and they are not hiding who they are. They're not hiding that, you know, they're a politician and one minute they're going to smile and they're going to act like they're for the people when really they are only out for themselves in the deep state and the one world government. So, I mean, you can see more of that has come out in more than any other time in history. And since Trump has left office, well, he didn't leave office, but you know, but you can start seeing that more. I mean, it is unreal what God is exposing right now in this time, but that's the reason why it had to happen. I hate the fact that it happened because I really do miss him. I miss seeing him on TV more. I miss, I miss his tweets. I mean, I'm on true social, so I can get some of that, but I, I just love how we always gave it back to him. But that's the reason why we have him as a president, because he's the type of person that can't be paid off, that won't back down, that won't shut up. No matter what they do, he is that bold lion that won't be, he, he just won't be stopped. And I just, I love seeing his perseverance. That's what we need right now in a leader. And you got to think about this logically, you know, use logic. How can one man be hated so much? Same as Bibi, not as much as maybe uh, Donald Trump. How can one man there be so much hatred towards him? It's because they're afraid of him exposing everything. Even Obama didn't have that uh, people hating him so much. Bush, nobody is Clinton, even with all the stuff that Clinton did. It wasn't the hatred that Trump had. <clears throat> yeah, and you noticed, it was funny. All these people wanted to be him. All these people loved him. They wanted to go to his golf courses. They want to go to his hotels. They were so privileged because they got the pictures with him. Now all of a sudden he runs as a Republican and oh, he's the devil. (laughs) No, because you know, he knows what you are hiding. I mean, it is just, it has opened up a can of worms. 
of what really has been going on in our government. And he knows, especially when I, I had a thing, I was like, when he, he comes out and he just does little Easter eggs here and there. And the one he gave about JFK. And I was like, huh. So I want to pray into that more. And one of the things the Lord, when I was praying into it, the Lord said, that was an inside job. Mm-hmm. And I was like, what? He's like, that was an inside job. That's why you haven't heard, you know, people that are trying to keep it under wraps. When it, somebody was trying to kill, a, you know, that, what they said happened did not happen. That was not how it happened. They just, they had a fall guy, like they always have a fall guy. Same thing with Abraham Lincoln. They had a fall guy. That's not who it really was. It really truly 100% was the deep state. It was the one world government. Yep. They had, yep. they had their plans. They were not yes men. They were doing everything against them. And that's the reason why you saw how bad they wanted to get to Trump. They wanted to, um, when they couldn't kill him, they wanted to impeach him. And then they tried, you know, to assassinate him again. It's not going to work. God is protecting him. It's not going to work. The last time okay. I was told, uh, I, I'll have to ask my, my sources. Last I heard, it was over 60 attempts on his life. Okay, I'm thinking like four or five. No, yeah, 60. Yeah, a, a lot. It's, and that's why they, it, when that wasn't working, they tried to impeach him and that didn't work either. I mean, everything they're trying to throw at him now, the January 6th thing, the Russian thing, it doesn't work. It's not ever going to work because God's not going to let it work because when he has people, a set, it's a set of time. It's people that he has put in power for this time, this very day, this very hour. And there is nothing that anybody can do to stop it. You can see like Moses, because God keeps saying this is our great exodus. And Moses back in the day, I'm sure Pharaoh tried having him killed too. It didn't work. Why? Because Moses was there for such a time as this. Trump is known, President Trump is known as our Cyrus. He's known as our David. And I mean, I mean, truly, no matter what they are going to do or going to try, he's protected by Almighty God. I'm, not, I, I, I was told the other day, I heard this before, but I, I was told by a pretty reliable source. I, I, I have to double check this, but he's, that he's got a bloodline to the tribe of Judah. <laughs> yeah. That is awesome. I know his mother, his mother was part of a massive revival. Yep. In Scotland. And yep. um, I know when he was inaugurated, the, the Bible he was, I'm pretty sure it was his mother's Bible. Yep. And he, he is, he has a bloodline. I mean, his mother was a powerhouse. And so I really truly believe that. that's why people were like, why would you vote for him? Why not? I loved him. Even before I knew he was born again, I loved him. I loved his presence. I loved how powerful he was and how he just wouldn't take no crap. Right. That's, that's what I, I don't want no politician. Politicians are liars. Yeah. I mean, you can see most of the majority of them are. Now there are good people. Thank God. God is putting into place. He's giving us his really, I, I love like Bo Burr and I love all these people like Madison Cawthorn, or all these people that are just, they won't back down. They won't show Doug Mastriano. Uh, I mean, seriously, God has handpicked certain people like this to be in these positions. And they are, I mean, we got to pray for all these people that God has put in place because they are getting hammered. Yep. The stuff that's going on with Madison Cawthorn, God's going to turn that around. That was such a lie. That was, that election was stolen from him. And all the things that they're saying about him are lies because he knows the truth about what who they really are. He's got stuff on them. And that's why they hate him so much. And so he's another one that won't back down. So we have to realize our military, we 100% need to back up our military by prayer every day. Yep. Because God has been saying they're, they're advancing. They're taking back territory. They're taking back things that are rightfully ours. And so we right now... We, as, as children of almighty God, pray for your military every day, keep them up because they are doing things that you don't know that they're doing. They are risking their lives all the time for us and taking these advancements and bringing back our rightful president. So, I mean, there are, there's things going on behind the scenes. People won't understand and they're not expected to understand. God's not asking us to understand. God's just asking us to trust him. And he's asking us to pray for them and pray for our rightful president, pray for Trump, pray for Pence. And pray for everybody he's bringing back with him. We all need to pray for their protection. Yeah, look at President Trump. Whether you, 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 you mean tweets, you don't like him. You, you don't. You don't. You don't elect a president whether he's likable or not. Who cares if you like him? It's what about results? Does he make America great? Look, we had dollar seventy nine gas. We're the number one producer of oil and gas in the world. He mm-hmm. he put the embassy back in Jerusalem. Where, and recognize the Golan Heights. I mean, look at the accomplishments that every politician talked but never did anything. He did, he did. it. Promises made, promises kept. Yep. And he, it's 100%. What he did was monumental by putting that embassy in Jerusalem.
huge. that was prophetic word being fulfilled. That was huge. That was massive. I know um, I just, somebody wrote me and said that Biden's trying to change it. Good luck with that. <laughs> Whatever. It's not going to happen. No. Just like Biden wants to change all these things. Everybody's like, well, the laws is changing. It's null and void when you're illegitimate. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying. When you're a fraudulent government body, nothing you do, no person you're going to put try to put on the Supreme Court, yada, yada, it's it's not going to stand. Legally, it's not going to stand. So, I mean, people just got to stop being wrapped up in all this other stuff because God is the judge over all the earth. He put, takes down one, pulls down one, and brings up another. Yep. And so all these things that we're seeing right now, I mean, literally, it is a clown show. I don't even know how. I mean, that's quite disrespectful. But... It is becoming more obvious every single day. You know, again, yeah. President Trump, uh, this Roe versus Wade, you know, pro-life. Look at these Supreme Court justices he put in there. And yeah. uh, that was key. Because, you know, the, the mainstream media tell you that Roe versus Wade went down 6 to 3. It did not go down 6 to 3. It went down 5-4. Justice oh, yeah. Roberts split. He punted. He agreed with the, uh, the Mississippi portion of it, but did not want Roe versus Wade to go back to the states. He tried to get a middle ground. Hmm. Uh, so he was not. Uh, for taking it back. He's going to pay for that. He's going to pay for that. One of the things that I just heard another uh, awesome, prophetic, encouraging word to Clarence Thomas. And so I'll give that out in another day or two. Is it Chief Justice? Yes, he called called him Chief. Yes, he did. And this other one, he's saying that he has a job to do and whatever it is that God is telling him to do, he knows what it is. But God is saying he's his protector and he is going to protect him with going forward and nothing that the enemies are threatening him with. It's, it's not it's not going to amount to anything. But something that I, I do because we're talking about Supreme Court, this is a word I will give out or I gave out already this morning. It's called a shaking has begun to remove what doesn't belong to your enemies. And, and part of this paragraph, it says, watch your Supreme Court or United States. A shaking has begun that will shake your freedoms loose from the chokeholds that have held you, um, held them down. And them, he means the Supreme Court justices. So they've been under a chokehold by the deep state, the one world government, whoever you want to call it, the elites, they've had a chokehold on them. And he's saying, look, many changes will occur and another person will no longer stay in their seat on the court. Yes, another one will be removed, saith the Lord. A change in who is in charge will take place as well on the court that will shake things to another level. <laughs> I loved it. And then another thing he says, this is a couple paragraphs before that. This is in bold. When he tells me something, put something in bold, he's emphasizing it and he wants us to pay attention. Oh, United States, get ready. Something big is about to shake your nation to its core to break the old and usher in the new. It's my time to show who I really am, and it's time to show the world what nations are mine, which ones I have truly blessed, and nothing will stop it, hmm. saith the Lord. That's exciting. <laughs> it's, uh-huh. it's exciting because, you know, God has already moved. Uh, that, again, going yeah. back to Roe versus Wade, that is a earthquake. Uh, and, you know, I hear so many people still saying, nothing's happening, nothing's happening, nothing's happening. Look what's happening. Yeah. I, I mean, it's just, I, it, how people, there are some people have told me a lot. Nothing's going on. Nothing's going on. And I'm like, huh? How is that? What? <laughs> There's problems fulfilled daily. Yep. God is moving so much. So here's another one that I, I will give out tomorrow. It's called the Eagle is being set free. Something major is about to break in your nation, O United States. Truth is breaking through all the lies, and nothing can hold this momentum back. The tide has already turned, and yes, my children, you are starting to see it now in the country, but it will become more obvious to the world. And then he says Red Sea moments are on the horizon, and it will cause a great change and great celebrations and a great exodus. He also says in this word, now, you may know this, I don't know. Because you know a lot of people, but he says a famous lawyer will be vindicated and their name will be restored. Hmm. So I am assuming it's somebody that was a part. Now, I don't know this for sure, but he has mentioned, you know, big time names like Rudy Giuliani, Sidney Powell. 
Linwood and all those that were part of trying to stop this election fraud. Um, and of course, they've been smeared through the, the mud with just discrediting them. So I, it could be one of them. I don't know. He didn't say. Um, but I, 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 do, I did want to say that because there's going to be a vindication to somebody's name who is a lawyer. Hmm. I, now, I, yeah, I, could, I, I could surmise, but I don't know for sure. I don't either. But and then this is another one. The Biden is not done falling. Another fall will be seen and reported on. This one will be the one they can't excuse away. And then he says, my children, listen to the number 25. Oh, yes, it's being discussed on how to do it and when. And then he says 25 with a question mark. Lord, yes, the 25th Amendment. The next move by the globalists will be obvious. They are letting the Biden fall. <laughs> so, um, and then another thing he says, oh, my United States is rising now. A death will be told, and this death will signal the death of their nation and their one world government. This death is a very significant person of the elites. His name is very well known. You will know it as soon as you hear it. So that's another thing to look huh. out for. And then right before this, it says, this isn't, this isn't bold. The eagle is being set free. The eagle is about to soar to new heights and to new levels of my glory. Mm. You can feel it. You can, you, can, you can feel it. <laughs> I, I felt it. You know, I've been feeling it for a while, but the Roe versus Wade uh, on Friday, I was going to take Friday off, and then the, the announcement came, and I, I, I got on. And, but it, just the spiritual realm of Roe versus Wade was mm -hmm. like a tidal wave, with offensive. God is now moving, and look out. Here he comes. Nothing's yeah. going to stop us coming. Yeah, and in the same word, we were just talking about January 6th, because a lot of people are, yeah. I, you know, are stressed out about it. He says, watch your capital building, O United States. Another incident will take place there. This time, the world will know what is really going on. January 6th narrative is a joke, and the world will see the truth. Now, there was several different words, and I don't have this one up in front of me right now, but he was talking about he is going to seriously bring them down to their knees, their narrative of what they are saying about January 6th. And, of course, he mentions that. <laughs> there's a laptop that's going to prove it all. And there's a laptop that's got proof of everything. So, I mean, don't be, I want anybody to be discouraged that's listening about what they're saying about January 6th, because just like they did with everything else regarding Trump, all the lies are trying to be told, everything that they're trying to do, it's not going to go the way they plan it to go. The riots didn't go the way they planned it to go. The, even keeping Roe versus Wade, I'm sure they probably use a lot of death threats on the Supreme Court oh, yeah. justices not to rule that way. It's not going to work anymore. They've lost their momentum. They've lost their power. Now God is saying the momentum is ours and it's on our side. And we're going to start seeing a life and a new nation being reborn. And all this stuff that's going on in this nation, it's going to be brought down. Yeah, they're in a panic mode. Did you see the sergeant of arms was just killed? Somebody just sent it to me. I was in shock yep. that they were so blatantly arrogant to kill somebody of who has been speaking against them. Yep. I mean, seriously, it's obvious. He was the one that came out and was trying to discredit everything that they were saying. He was telling the truth. Yep. And they don't like truth being told. Obviously, as we know, a lot of us have been taken down from certain platforms because <laughs> we tell the truth and they don't like it. Or yep. why would they take us down? What would be the point? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, a like it's, it's, it's a badge of courage to be taken down, right? <laughs> I have four. I'm just like, I'm going to go back on for my fist. Why not? Why not just keep adding to it? <laughs> I was, I, we were take, We had like 250,000 subscribers on uh, YouTube, and we were taken down because of General McInerney and General Flynn. And what they said has now been proven true. <laughs> yeah. I mean, seriously, God is on our side, not the side of the enemy. And so that's why God is giving us all of these things to, to, to bring joy back into our heart. We should be, even in the midst and people can say, how can you be so happy? Look at all this stuff that's going on with the shortages and with the gas price. I know. I just filled up my Tahoe for $113. I know. <laughs> like 50 cents the other day. I wasn't really happy about it. I'm like, okay, Lord. <laughs> all right. We're, this is being stolen from us. I thank you for bringing uh, re restorative restoration. 
I mean, seriously, if Satan can't steal our joy, he can't keep our goods. We have to realize God is in control. This is not going to last. And if we know it's not going to last, and also if we remember God is a God of multiplication, yep. he can, if he can multiply and turn water into wine, he can multiply loaves and fishes. I'm sure he can, and he can multiply uh, flour. He can multiply oil. And I've seen it personally myself uh, twice. I think that he can multiply our gas or our food in our uh, in our pantries if we need it. Yeah. I mean, this is where we're. These are the days of Elijah. These are the days where we have to take God for who He really is, and not somebody who we've been told that He is. I mean, really, He's a God of nothing is impossible. He's also our provider. It's His name, Jehovah Jireh, our provider. So if these things are going on, God said in in uh, John seventeen verses thirteen through seventeen, twice, we're in this world but you are not of it. Right. We don't belong to this world. Yeah. We are just we are citizens, you know, of this world, but we're really citizens of heaven. And so we cannot be moved. He said it. Don't be moved by what is going on. Only be moved by my word. Only be moved by what I am saying. Now, don't be moved by the enemy because the enemy is going to steal your joy. And that's exactly what the enemy wants. They want to break. Each and every person that's watching, they want to break the body of Christ so we don't fight back. These are tactics of war, and they have tactics of war all surrounding us right now. Yep. In every way and walk of life, that they can get us uncomfortable, they can get us stressed out, they can get us in fear. That's what they're going to do because they want to break your spirit. They want to break your soul to the point where you're so fear-oriented uh, that you can't fight them back. Yeah, yeah, and it's also from the religious spirit internally there's attacks. So you mentioned... Uh, a prophetic word every day is that because somebody's attacked you about that oh yeah yeah I, oh. i've heard that too oh, yeah. and I've, I've spoken i i didn't know if they were talking about you but I, I somebody asked me that and i spoke about this life god speaks to me every day every mm -hmm. single day he speaks to me i don't get prophetic words but if i sat and, and and meditated on him i'm sure he would but who is to say god can't talk to you every day that's you insane know, i asked him that question I said, Lord, because I didn't ask him. I literally did not ask for prophetic words every day. I just asked. I said, okay, Lord, they're asking me this question. So I'm going to ask you this question because what do I, what do I say? And he said, first of all, it's an answer to prayer. And I said, what prayer? He said, you asked me before you preach, before you were making these videos, what do your people need to hear for this very day in this very hour? He goes, my people need to hear my words. They need to hear the encouragement. They didn't hear. And if our enemies can speak every day through all these vessels, through all these news people, through all these politicians, why could God not speak through his prophets every day? He says in Amos uh, 3 and verse 7, he doesn't do anything without first revealing it to his servants of prophets. Exactly. So even though I know that I am not, you know, uh, I'm different, but it doesn't mean that different is wrong. Right. And I've had a question to him. So I'm like, okay, Lord, uh, people are asking me, this is every day. What is it? My people need to hear my words every day and what I am doing, what I am saying, because it needs, it needs to destroy. The reason why we're having these prophetic words and have so many prophets out there in the world right now is because it needs to break the chokehold of fear yep. that fear has had on the body of Christ. He needs to give us truth every day because the truth will set you free. So that's the reason why you're seeing prophetic words happening all the time. There's so many different people because God is setting his body free. He's setting everyone free. And so instead of questioning God, why would God do that? Why wouldn't? You're asking the wrong question. Why wouldn't God do it for us? He loves us. They're trying to counteract. They're trying to steal. They're trying to kill. They're trying to destroy. That's what John 10, 10 says. Why would God not give us? And one, one of the things somebody said, Fresh manna from heaven. He gave manna every day in the wilderness. Yep. Why yep. would he not give us fresh, fresh manna from heaven, which is his words, to set us free? Amen. And I tell you what, it's time for the body of Christ to be united. We cannot have this division. Division yeah. is of Satan. And um, I think some of them are deep state that are trying to infiltrate and trying to cause division and, and uh, bring this down. And we just have to say no and keep moving. Yeah. Exactly. And, you know, I get not only that, but I'm a woman. Women are not supposed to preach and I'm not supposed to prophesy. <laughs> and it's like, you know what? God will use whomever he wills, but he also will use a willing vessel. 
Yep. And I will not back off no matter what he tells me to say or what he tells me to do. I do not have any fear when I'm calling out people in the deep state. I don't have any fear when I'm calling out people in the, you know, Washington, D.C. I went to Washington, D.C. I did not look over my shoulder. I was not afraid. Why? Because God is my protector. If you shut the mouths of the lions and the lions den, he, he destroyed the power of the fire in the fiery furnace with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Yep. Then why would he not do the same thing for us now? Amen. And so I, I, I'm not afraid. I'm, I will say whatever God needs me to. Well, you've been on many times, and your prophetic words have, have, have come true. And uh, 95% of the things you say, I have intel sources to back it. And the other five, I'm scratching my head, and I'm like, how do I find that out? <laughs> he, he will. He will. He'll tell you. He will, because I just get him, uh, tons of whistleblowers. Isn't it fun, though? I have so many people that send me this stuff all the time. Like, God will just say a word in a, pro in a prophecy. I don't even know what these words mean. I just hear a word and I'm like, okay, I'll write it down. So now I'm like, I have to question the spelling of it. So I've never heard these words like this before. And all of a sudden I have people email me all the time. This is what this word means. This is, I mean, people are having fun trying to like decode what God is saying. Yep. And it's fun. He wants to get our attention on him and what he's saying and not what our attention on these, these people are doing in the world today. It's, yeah, it's not going to last just like Pharaoh didn't. Right. It, you know, this religious spirit that attacks, these are the same people. I, we, I mentioned this with Pastor Greg Locke the other day. Um, they're the ones that are, are the ones that never get their, that roll up their sleeves and never get dirty. They never feed the homeless. They never go out and baptize. They never go out and pray. They just sit on their pulpit and just scream, literally, and accuse other brethren and, and, and sisters uh, of, of false things. It's just. Yeah, you know what? We're not no supposed more. to act that way. Nope. We're not supposed to judge. We're not, we're supposed to judge. You know, there's been people that said a lot of nasty things about me. And I'm like, okay, what, what, what do you want me to do, Lord? He goes, pray for him. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay. Yep. Because he said in, in Isaiah 54, 17, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that rises against you, we condemned. So that's what we have to do. We're supposed to walk in love. No matter if anybody else is doing it, that's between us and God if we're walking in love. And if they're not, that's between them and God. And so we're not supposed to harbor any, you know, hard feelings between anybody, but we are supposed to pray for those who, who, who do say those things and ask that God reveals to them the truth and their, their blinders are removed because they're being lied to and they're being deceived and they're falling for it. Yep. Yep. We need to be united. United. Christ is the head. We are one body united. Uh, and we're seeing that get, the remnant get tighter and tighter and tighter. And yes, and, and you can see it yeah. at the Reawaken America tours too. Not only with all of us like getting together online, but when we're together and in, in person, it's just like we're like this one big happy family. It is yep. just so awesome to see it. And you know what? In the midst of all this darkness, God is turning into something good. Mm -hmm. He truly, truly is. He's bringing us all together in the midst of everybody else trying to separate us. And, and, you know, because the house divided against itself can't stand. We are becoming united, even stronger than we ever had before. And so when everything is shaking around us, we will not be shaken. No way. No way. Uh, we see that on the beach when we do baptism and prayer. I mean, it's it's a family event. Everybody's out there praying. Yeah. It's, even Dr. Barber, people are dropping left and right. It's, it's so cool to see what God does on those. I mean, even what, like with Myrtle Beach. And that was so big and it was such an honor to be there and seeing what God is doing and I mean just it, I love I love to see people become born again mm -hmm. I love to see people want to be baptized in the midst of all this stuff we are adding to the kingdom and that's exactly what our heavenly father wants us to do amen I mean hour and three minutes went by just like that. <laughs> again <laughs> again wow we, we discussed privately, and maybe we'll have to put this together, that we do a prophetic marathon uh, one of these days and put uh, seven, eight prophets together and go for a few hours and just let the Spirit of the Lord flow. I think that would be fun. It would be amazing. I am in. You can count on me. So just let me know when you want to do it. I can't wait. I would love to be a part of that. Yeah, that would, that would be, uh, be must-see, must-see, uh, mm -hmm. and must-feel. Well, Julie Green, we'll see you next week in Virginia Beach. Yes, I can't wait. I can't wait either. Uh, travel safe. We'll see you soon. God bless you. God bless you. All right. That wraps up our interview with Julie Green. It, it, they always go so fast. I, I don't know if I've ever seen an hour go so fast. Maybe grace and glory. But man, the, the spirit of the Lord is moving. Trust him. 
trust him, trust him. We don't know how he's going to do it, but just trust him that he's going to do it because look at the things he's already done. Uh, so God bless you and go in his shalom. This is Creed from His Glory, and you're watching His Glory TV.